Hey Capricorn, it's Suzanne with Sunny Force Tarot here to do your weekly reading for April 13th through the 20th. So this week we're going to do uh, past, present, future. Okay, so I'm using um, the Lenormand deck here. Past, present. And then I'm using the Kipper deck. Okay, for future, the Kipper deck is actually a fortune telling deck. All right. So you are going to be on the top, and your person is going to be on the bottom. Of course, in a general reading. You can flip, right? Okay. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on in the, in the past. Now, keep in mind, some of you might be in this situation now, okay? Everybody is on different timelines. You might be in what, you know, the, the majority of the collective experience in the future. This might be you right now based on what's happened, you know, in these two rows could represent the past for you, okay? So it's going to be different for everybody. But for the most part, most of you should be in the middle for what's going on right now. All right, so in the past, Capricorn, what do we have? All right, so we have the Skype. So this is like a hatchet, you know, like um, something that you know, you go through a wheat field and you cut away the wheat as you walk through it. So something in the past, something was cut away. Something was released. So let's see. For you, all right, so we have Justice, card of Libra. Hmm. For this person, we have the magician. So something that shows up to me right away, I don't know if you see this or not, you probably don't. Magician is the card of one, and then we have ten, which creates 11. We have 11, 11 here. So I feel like what was cut away was there was a twin flame connection of some kind here, whether, whether you see it, whether you realize it or not. And it was, you know, I feel like, um, You know, I feel like both of you manifested this and then thought better of it. Or you thought like, you manifested it and you were shocked by it. You were shocked that it actually happened or that you were shocked that it actually existed. It might have turned your life upside down. 
you might have lost things because of it. You might have lost jobs, you might have lost friends, you might have lost, um, you might have lost a lot because of it. Justice for you. I want to see, before we go any further, I want to see what justice is for you. Two of Pentacles. So at the end of the day, I feel like you never made a decision about this connection. You know, it was like there were two directions you could go in and you never chose what direction to go in. And, you know, why is that clarifying justice? You know, we've got justice is the 11, and then we have another two, which could, we're getting a lot of, I feel like there was a, a right path to take, like the traditional path, and then there was a destined path. So one of these pentacles represents tradition, and one of these pentacles represents destin, destiny. And you never chose. You never chose what direction you were going to go in. And then something fell away. Something got cut away. Let's see what this magician is for this person. Three of Swords. This person manifested their own heartbreak. They didn't, they didn't see this heavy connection coming, but it hit them like a, like a bat out of hell. It hit them hard. And it's like between, like they were shocked by it. They were surprised by it. They manifested it. In other words, you were a part of their thoughts for a very long time. Like, however the two of you met, however the two of you knew each other, you were part of this person's thoughts for a long time. And then before, before they knew it, they realized that this connection was available to them, and then it wasn't. Because it wasn't because I feel like you were put into a position of choosing tradition or destiny and you never chose. So what is happening right now? We have the letter. What's the letter? What's this letter about? The Fool. For you. And the Hangman for this person. I feel like this person down here, the one who broke their own heart, um, this Hangman represents this person literally in limbo. Waiting. I feel like they're waiting for communication. They're waiting for some type of communication from you. They're waiting, you know, and this communication would require you to Take a huge risk. And, you know, it's a huge risk based on how you look at it, really. It's a huge risk because you didn't ever make a decision in the past. 
So you might see it as, as risky, when in actuality, you know, it would give you both a lot of clarity. All right, so what is happening here in the future? For you, we have nine of wands. And down here, we have the main female. Look at number two. So if you are the female or you are the feminine, you are very cautious, very suspicious. So what I feel like is going to happen here, and this person has, look at this, two of cups. So what this is saying is that even in the future, this person still feels as strongly as they did back then. They're waiting for you. And even in the future, when it comes to you, they still feel the same. Now, with you, in the future, you're very cautious because you never made a choice and I don't feel like you ever took a risk here either. So you would be very cautious of this person just showing up out of the blue. But let's get some clarity on, first of all, why... Let's clarify the fool. Nine of swords. Yep. So you talked yourself out of it. You talked yourself out, or you're doing that right now. You're talking yourself out of being the one that communicates with this person. You don't do it. You, you know, and if you do, that's, hey, all the power to you. But for the collective, this is why you're not going to take a risk. is because you're going to talk yourself out of it. Nine of wands. Eight of Cups. You're so cautious and you're so worried that you're going to be left or that someone's going to walk away from you. Maybe that's how you perceive this situation is that somebody left you hanging or didn't communicate with you or walked away from you in the past when in actuality it was about you not making a decision. This is why you're so cautious, is because you're afraid that this person in particular, this person that feels two of cups for you, is going to leave you. This is about you. Let's clarify this main female. I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so we have the Emperor, card of Aries. You might be dealing with an Aries. So, for you, I feel like this whole experience is about how are you, this is asking you, you know, how do you organize yourself in relationships? How do you organize, you know, How do you experience relationships? Are you the one that's always calling the shots? Are you the one that's always in control? I think you feel in particularly bad, you might feel badly because you didn't take any action when you thought you should have. And I feel like you're really holding yourself heavily accountable for that. This and this energy you might have felt or you might have known that this person was waiting on you in some way. This person continues to love you no matter what. I feel like you can't mess it up, but I feel like the, the, 
what this is kind of testing you in, and I don't feel that the universe really tests us. I really, I feel like it's about us testing ourselves. And what you are learning from this situation is you're, you're looking at how you are in relationships. It bothers you that there was no result. It bothers you that there was no resolution to this. You don't like it hanging out there in the, in the universe. Because you know it's still out there. You still feel that energy. I want to pull a card for Hangman for them. Eight of Pentacles. So while this person has been in limbo, they've been thinking about how to make it work. Look at that little dog and that little squirrel. Oh my gosh. Ugh. He's like building a little dog house. I never noticed that before. Um, he's building a little dog house and he's putting all of his money and his dogs and his squirrels in there. That is my life right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my God, that's so funny. And no, I don't have bags of money. But I do have a lot of monster squirrels running around my house and dogs that look kind of like that. So this person has absolutely been thinking about how this could have worked or how to make it work. That's what they're thinking about right now. This is the present. Let's see, Two of Cups. Judgment. This person wants you to come back to them. This person is going to try to come back to you in the, in the future. That's what judgment is about. I mean, we've got to, yeah, that's, that's what that's about. But because you have been so difficult and hard on yourself, I don't know that you're going to allow it to happen or allow it to come in. And if you're in this suspicious, cautious energy, you might worry this person away. I don't think I've ever said that. I don't think I've ever said worry somebody away. But that's what you're doing. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you. If you are looking for a more personal, deeper reading, we can do that. Just reach out. Otherwise, if not, no problem. I'll be back later in the week to do topical readings. All right, so have a lovely evening. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. All right, much love. Bye.